Okay, good morning, my travelers. Michael here. We're sitting in KOA site just outside of Titusville, Florida. Uh, that's along the Space Coast uh, near Cape Canaveral. We actually got here a day early, if you're following me on Instagram. Uh, we decided to cut our stay short in the Ocala National Forest. It's pretty nice, but there really wasn't much to do. And there was a 14-foot gator on the loose that they've been hunting for the past week. And having the little ones, we thought, you know, it's better just to play it safe. So I was thinking about doing something a little different. Uh, something on my mind has been the vlog uh, for Georgia. So I haven't had the chance to do it. I was going to try and work. I'd said in my mind that I was going to start doing some work today um, and during the stay here in Titusville before we get to Disney World. I believe we're getting there on Monday. So we only have a few short days and I thought, hey, I could knock out some good research, get some stuff done, uh, especially since we're getting here early. Well, I checked the Wi-Fi last night and for some reason the Wi-Fi just really isn't cutting in. So I don't think that's going to be possible. So something I thought about was, you know what, maybe I'll just try my hand at vlogging. So I know Sarah's super excited about it. If you've been following her on Instagram, she's quite animated, she loves the camera, and she just has a flair for the dramatic. So she she's great on the videos. Me, not so much. But what I think I should do is maybe talk a little bit about Georgia from here, and I can post that on my website, and then I can do a follow-up later about our experience and once I had the chance to do a little more research. So this won't really be as information filled as some of my other vlogs. However, comma, I did get some feedback that my other vlogs may be a little too overwhelming. Thank you, Marty, at Show and Tales. If you haven't heard of it, you should check it out for sure at showandtales.com. I'm gonna work on that and I, I appreciate feedback. I'd love to hear more from anyone else because uh, I really want to provide something for you. Okay, if you go into Atlanta, you must stop by the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library. It doesn't matter what your political affiliation is, how you feel about Democrats, Republicans, or any of that nonsense. Go check this out for your kids. Teach them about philanthropy. Teach them about doing better for others. Doing, you know, selfless service. The Carters, the Carter Foundation, that is the epitome of service, is the epitome of helping others when it doesn't necessarily benefit yourself. And that is the lesson that we want to teach our daughter. Uh, that is the lesson we want to teach our son. Um, that is the whole purpose of what we are doing here at Novel Excursion. We want to help the nameless stranger. We want to you know, lend a helping hand to anyone and everyone we can, even when it's not something big. You know, you don't have to be the person who's donating hundreds of dollars every month. You don't have to be someone who can go um, on a Habitat for Humanity trip or work with Amnesty International or give up months or years of your life to go build a uh, school. You can be someone like us right now who's just road tripping to take their kids to Disney World and finding little places that you can help. The Jimmy Carter National Presidential Library is a wonderful place to give some of these lessons. It's a great place to let them kind of live vicariously through history. Um, there's this wonderful uh, mural, and when you stand back from it, it's an image of Jimmy Carter himself. So it is quite the sight to behold. Uh, another place to go is Helen, Georgia. Their town is uh, made up of replica buildings. It has, it has a historic village that has half-timbered homes and shops uh, that looks just like Bavaria. It's wonderful. Uh, they have some authentic German food there. It was, uh, it was a wonderful place just to see. Uh, but yeah, just look it up, Helen, Georgia. It's a great place and it's a cool, cool opportunity while on the road to teach your kids about a different culture and uh, teach them about how, you know, immigration in America has shaped the framework of our cultural identity. It, it's really cool to see, you know, Germany transplanted across the ocean put into some random spot in northern Georgia, just beneath the foothills of the, the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, and to just, you know, saunter through there and get yourself a pretzel. So I'm getting texts from Amanda because I didn't tell her I was going to be videoing. 
so she's probably worried that I was on the road a little too long, so I should probably cut this short and uh, head over there. Back for a little bit more about Georgia before we go. So Kennesaw Mountain State Park is worth a visit for sure if you're in the Atlanta area. Uh, it is the site of a monumental victory for the North during the Civil War. Uh, it was the start of Sherman's march to the Atlantic, uh, which really handicapped the South and essentially was the start of the end uh, for the Civil War. Uh, so if you head over there, it is full of walking trails uh, through beautiful forests. It has grown up on the ridge line. Uh, there are a whole bunch of cannons that you'll see, as well as fighting points that they've recreated uh, up along the hillside. And once you get up to the top, you'll be able to see the uh, skyline of Atlanta if you're in the area. I think it provides a significant amount of educational value in terms of history. When you do go, it is part of the National Park Service, so you will have to pay a fee for entrance. Uh, but there are multiple ways to get a discount. So if you happen to be military, you can go to any national parks uh, kiosk or uh, gate and you can get an America Beautiful Pass when you show your cat card. You'll get a free pass for the entire calendar year that you're in and your, um, your dependents can go with you. So if you're not military, uh, there's one for seniors. It's 62 years and over. Uh, you can get either an annual pass or a lifetime pass for a significantly discounted rate. Uh, for children, they do each year a program for fourth grade. You have to be either um, verified fourth grade, enrolled, or uh, free choice learners who are 10 years old. It will give a free pass to the fourth grader, and it, it, the whole intent is trying to get kids into the national parks. And you can find information at that everykidsoutdoors.gov or go to any of the National Parks website. Before we end this, I just wanted to touch on a couple more places provided to me by a colleague, uh, Brittany Carter at theworldenough.com. Uh, I just met Brittany through Location Indie, uh, which is a organization that's really finding personal, financial, and location independence. Really, One place I'd like to mention is Savannah, so the coastal region of Georgia is a must. Something that I, oh, I would love to see it. Um, there's so many places out there. Um, the Okefenokee uh, Swamp is something worthwhile if you're looking for some science lessons. Another recommended place is the Etowah Indian Mounds Historic Site. Uh, it's up in northern Georgia, but it is a site of six historic mounds that were built between 1000 and 1550 CE. It is a place similar to uh, Poverty Point, the one that I mentioned in uh, our Road Schooling Louisiana edition. Uh, but yeah, it's a site of a tribe that mysteriously disappeared. So you can definitely build some lesson plans around uh, the history of the region. There's so many things you can do with Native American studies from history to uh, use of the land to integrating uh, Native American culture with European settlers and as well as, you know, our push west as a country once we were colonized. So I think it's definitely something that we would stop in if we're up in northern Georgia. Perhaps next year we'll add that to our list. All right, so I think that's all we're going to have uh, time for today. So hopefully you liked the video. I'd love to hear your feedback. So when you do finally get out there, just remember, always travel mindfully. Hey travelers, thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, please click subscribe and comment below. Let us know how we're doing and what we can do to better serve you. Uh, down in the show notes, you'll see some links to uh, Brittany Carter's website as well as our website. Uh, if you are into blogging, check out our blog at Think Act Blog. You'll find that in the show notes as well. Uh, go to novelexcursion.com forward slash Think Act Blog. Uh, there are hyphens in between uh, the three words, so don't forget that. You'll see the link down below. Uh, stay tuned for more, and we look forward to seeing you. Don't forget to travel mindfully.